Hi pen fans, this is your personal pen maker, Brian at the Edison Pen Company, edisonpen.com. Hey, we are getting ready for the San Francisco Pen Show. Uh, a little background here, this will be the first time that we've ever attended the San Francisco Show, and we've been doing these shows since the beginning of uh, our business, uh, you know, 12 plus years now. Um, the way that we, of course, we have to manufacture pens in order to attend a pen show, so it takes about three weeks of solid preparation on top of our normal routine to get ready for a pen show. Then it takes a good week or so after the pen show to get back into our routine afterwards. So what this means is that really it kind of puts a, cr a, a little bit of a, a, a monkey wrench in our, in our normal schedule uh, for at least four weeks. Um, therefore, we can't do every pen show. So historically, we've had our normal pen shows that we go to every year, and uh, we were thinking that it's, maybe it's time to start switching this up and start visiting some people in other cities that we don't normally visit. So we decided to not attend the DC show, which was about two weeks ago, but instead we're going to the San Francisco show. And actually, uh, as soon as this video is concluded, I'll, I will be uh, packing up. So um, we're just about ready for that. And uh, one thing that is definitely different about this um, is that we're going to do a pen that is exclusive to the San Francisco Pen Show. We've never done this before for a pen show, making a pen that is just specifically exclusive to that show. We're only making 10 of them, and essentially it'll be first come, first serve. We're going to give this a try and see how it works. Uh, we ended up with a really neat material. Uh, Jonathan Brooks, who runs the Carolina Pen Company, I've known him for a good while, and last year at the DC Pen Show, we started talking about how we could do some collaborative work. We decided to start off kind of with a small project at first. So there are 10 of these pens that are already made. They will be at the San Francisco Pen Show and they'll be first come, first serve. Um, if I will, if you're watching this on uh, our blog, you'll see that the blog post just previous to this one outlines that entire pen. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link to that as well. But, uh, to not leave you in the dark on this video, here are some photos of this pen. I think it really turned out fantastic. Take a look. Okay, so what that is, is a Menlo, but we left off the center band. I thought that was kind of a unique look. We've made bandless Menlos before, and I think that they turned out, uh, I think in the past they turned out pretty sharp, and I think that this is the case with this pen as well. The material is, of course, manufactured by Jonathan. Um, it's a variant on his Japanese Autumn. Uh, his normal Japanese Autumn, if I'm not mistaken, has some more greens and blues. This has more reds and oranges. So, if you're interested in that pen, we will have it at the pen show. We'll have 10 of them, and once they're gone, they're gone. Now, I, outside of this, of course, we can't show up to a pen show without a lot more pens than just 10. We actually have a bit more than 360 pens that we're bringing to this pen show. So, uh, let me go ahead and show you what those pens will be. All right, this is the display that we'll be bringing with us to the San Francisco show. With an exception, um, we fly to this show, and any show that we fly to, we have to kind of minimize how much we can pack. So the legs that hold this display up in kind of like a multi-tiered fashion won't be able to uh, come with us. So we have those custom plates that are uh, cut out to the shape of each pen. Those plates will be laying flat on the table. So we won't have this tiered look, but I still think it's going to be pretty sharp. Uh, there's well over 360 pens in this display. So let's get started with Menlo Draw Fillers. Uh, these have been one of our most popular models and probably our most popular filling system. Um, the vast majority of these are translucent. I think that most people want their Menlo to be translucent because it's really neat watching the ink kind of slosh around inside the barrel. Um, here at the bottom rack are Herald Grandes and Huron Grandes, and then up here we get into Beaumonts. The 
the bottom rack here are 76s, and then we get into colliers. Now here we have pearls. and then Glenmont's. And then the top rack here is uh, Morgan's. Down here we have the extended Mina level. If you remember, that's essentially an extended Mina with a nice little ink window. Pearlettes. And then we have a second rack of Morgan's right there. Down here we have Minas. And then extended Minas. These are the non-level versions of the extended Mina, so no ink windows. And then up here at the top are Heralds. Okay, so there's the pens that we'll be bringing with us. Um, a couple of things for the people who may not be able to attend the show. Um, number one, if you like the limited edition exclusive pen that we're doing, uh, that we uh, using Jonathan Brooks's uh, materials, um, we can certainly still make bandless Menlo's. You know, so if you wanted a custom pen made that was a bandless Menlo just like that, we could certainly do it. We can also use Jonathan's materials as well. So if you had a special material that Jonathan manufactures that you'd like us to use, we can do that in any custom pen, including a bandless Menlo. Now, of course, I'm not going to break the rules of a limited edition, however, so I can't make a bandless Menlo in the identical material um, as what we're bringing to the San Francisco Pen Show. Of course, that kind of ruins the, the point of a limited edition, but we can make uh, plenty of, uh, there's plenty of other options that we can uh, th uh, think of for a bandless Menlo or a pen that is similar to that, if, if you like that. Now, if you like a pen that you saw in our main inventory and can't attend, uh, uh, attend the pen show, um, granted that that pen didn't sell at the San Francisco show, of course we have it. Shoot an email, let me know. Um, actually, as of publishing this, I need to double check and make sure that all my keywords are correct. But all of the pens that you saw in this video are photographed and they're in our current inventory galleries. So if you're unsure, go to edisonpen.com and you'll see a tab that says current inventory under pens. And there you get to our current inventory gallery, which shows you everything that we have that's ready to ship. And like I said, I'm going to double check, but I'm 99% uh, sure that every pen uh, that we are bringing to that show that you just saw in this video is already in the galleries, already photoed, ready to have a look at. So, if you can make the San Francisco show, we really look forward to seeing all of our fans there that we haven't been able to see live because we haven't done the show before. Um, if you can't make the show, you see something that you like, then uh, just uh, shoot me an email and we can figure it out, okay? Hope to see you in San Francisco. Take care.